Hey guys, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find all 15 extra Daedalian keys after you get the first one in the quest. So for this key, you're going to go to the Astronomy Wing, and then we're going to go down to Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom. And starting from this Flue Flames, we're going to go immediately down the stairs, and you will see this kind of like skeleton of whatever this is supposed to be, there'll be a key flying around that area. Once you interact or you get close to the key, it will fly up here, up the stairs that you just came down, and then you're gonna run to the right of the flue flames, and you'll see here along this area here on the same wall is where the key will be so that you can unlock the cabinet. The next key location will be in the bell tower wing. So here, bell tower wing, the bell tower courtyard is the location we're gonna be going to. And starting from here, starting from the flue flames, you're gonna turn around, take the stairs on the left and basically just run all the way straight up the stairs. You'll see here around this area should be where the key is flying. Now just get close to it and then the key will fly off upwards up the stairs. So you just gotta go follow it all the way up here. It'll basically be right by the cabinet at the very top of the stairs here on the left hand side. So just keep going left as you turn up here. It should be here and that's where you're gonna get it. The location for the next key is going to be in the Grand Staircase Flue Flames location. Now in here, we're gonna be going to the Ravenclaw Tower. And looking at the Flue Flames, we're gonna go to the right or on the map, it will be towards the east. And you'll see here the giant staircase. We're gonna immediately go left and we're gonna run up here. Now you're gonna find the key at this first intersection. It'll be flying around right around over here. So just, you know, use your Revelio. You'll see it in blue. I've already collected them so they don't show up on, on my game footage right now. And then once you've got it, it will basically fly all the way downwards. I'm going to lead you exactly to where the cabinet is because if you have paused a key before in the past, it will immediately be at the cabinet. So I'm showing you where the cabinet locations are as well in case you've already accidentally found the keys and they've gone to the cabinets. Here's where the cabinet is. The next key location is also going to be within the Grand Staircase, but actually we're going to be using the Flue Flame location for Quad Courtyard. So go to that one over here. And when you run here, you're just going to take the stairs on the left here behind the little fountain and just go up the stairs to this archway that you can see on the left here. Basically, the key will be flying around here. So interact with the key. Once you interact with it, it will fly basically down the stairs that we just came from. And then immediately this time we're going to go left. So there's a flu flame that we teleported from and we're going to go here and this is the location where you're going to find the cabinet. It's going to be around here. This is exactly where you can get it. The next location for the next key is going to be in the Great Hall. So inside the Great Hall here, we're going to go to the Great Hall, the Flu Flame location for the Great Hall. Right over here, the first one you'll find is actually by the fireplace over here. The key will be basically flying around the, the fireplace. You go get close to it and it will fly over you back towards the Flu Flame and up these stairs. And right at the top of the stairs is the cabinet that you need to open. Now we're going to go back to that Flu Flame, the Great Hall, because there is another one that is going to be through this door over here. You will need to run through three sets of doors. So one, two, three, and then the key will be flying around here by the staircase. Interact with the key and it will basically fly all the way down to the right over here where you'll see the cabinet is right over there. So that one's nice and simple. The next one, the next key location is going to be in the library annex. There's actually a few keys in the library annex and we're going to the potions classroom. So starting from the potions classroom, there is the um, flu flame location here. We're gonna be going towards this direction which is west on your map. So head to the west here. You'll find the key immediately right over here. Once you engage with it, it will go down these stairs. Just run along with it over here and you'll see as you run along, it will lead you directly to the cabinet that you need to interact with. The next key location is gonna be also within the library annex, but this is gonna be from a different flu flame location. This time we're going to the central hall flu flame location. So this is basically in between the stairs over here. Here's what the flu flame looks like. Now we're gonna go down the stairs here first and then we're gonna go towards the right and down the stairs. So basically down the stairs and to the right, you'll find the key right over there by those paintings. And then when you get to the key, it's gonna basically fly up the stairs again, and it's gonna go across down to the other side, down these stairs, and you'll see the cabinet is over here. And that's how you open and get that one. The next key will be found in the library annex at the exact same flu flame location, the central hall. So let's go back there and we'll find this next key. This time we're going up the stairs. So you're gonna go up here, and then you're gonna go up these two as well. 
and immediately to the right, but not up the stairs on the, the flat ground. You'll see in the background there in the distance, there will be a key flying around in this area if you haven't already collected it. And then you're going to go down the first fl flight of stairs and then immediately on your right is where the, the cabinet will be. So if it is here, that's where it will be. The next one is going to be in the library annex, but this time we're going to the actual library itself. So the flu flames for the library, go ahead and teleport to there. So here's where the flu flames is. We're going to face away from it and we're going to take a right roughly in the middle of the room. You'll see the key is flying around here. When you interact with the key, it will basically go on the same wall where your flu flames was just towards the left down here. And that is where you're going to find the cabinet. The next key is going to be found in a secret room. We're going to actually go, it's not really in a secret room, but the fastest teleport there is from the map chamber. So secret rooms, map chamber, and then you're going to immediately take the stairs, the spiral staircase. We're actually going to be taking two spiral staircases. So just run along here. It is a little bit of a run until you get there. At the top of the staircase, you're going to go through this gate here, down the stairs here. You'll see the first key is over here. There's two keys in this area. The first one is over here. You're going to get it. It's going to come back down here, pass this way, pass these like all these kegs and stuff. And you'll see the cabinet is right over here to open. So that's one super simple, nice and easy. Now where you first found that key, that first one, basically in front of the stairs down here, we're actually going to go down this hallway and we're going to go left. And you'll see here right by that like dragon kind of statue, there'll be another key that is flying around here. And this one is going to fly off up the stairs, basically directly above it. So we're just going to go up these stairs and you'll see the cabinet is right above it. So here's where you'll find the, the next location. The next Daedalian key will be found in the south wing. So we're going to go towards the south wing. The flu flame location we're going to use here is the faculty tower. Once you get there, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to basically face towards the south. So there's the flu flame. We're going to go towards the south of it. So the right side here, down this way over here. And you're immediately going to take the first door on the right. This is actually the one where you do Mr. Moons and he's demi, demi guys kind of like quest where he teaches you how to use Aloha Mora for the first time. The key that you're going to find is flying around here. So you interact with it. You don't have to do this during your demi guys moon, um, you know, quest. You can actually do it afterwards. And here is where you'll take it in the cabinet. The next key is going to be in the south wing as well. But this time we're going to be using the flu flame location for the hospital wing. So teleport here and then I'll lead you directly to the Daedalian key. Okay, so from here, from the flu flame location, we're gonna go down the stairs that's literally right next to it. So go down the first flight of stairs here and you'll see there's a really long hallway. You're gonna run down this one. You will find the key basically flying around here. Man, I say basically a lot. It's kind of crazy. I need a new word to say. So once you've got the key, it's going to come down here, down the hallway again to this cabinet that you just ran past earlier. So that's quite simple. The final key that you need here is going to be in the south wing. And this time we're going to use the flu flame for the clock tower courtyard. So let's go teleport there. Now you'll see there's the pendulum above us. You are going to need to use Aloha Mora to get through this door because we're going through this door over here that has a level one or two lock. I think it was a level one lock, but we're going to go up the stairs here. It's going to open up into where you can see the pendulum swinging left and right. We're immediately immediately going to see the key is going to be flying around here. It's going to be over here and it's going to fly up these stairs directly behind you. And you're going to run up the stairs and you will find the door, the cabinet, the final cabinet that you need here is also on the left. So as you get up here, that is where you're going to find it. And that is where you can get all of the Daedalian keys so that you can get your special cloak, which is actually the one I'm wearing for Ravenclaw in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.